Praise the Lord, everybody. My name is Brother Jermaine Anderson, and I am the president of the Young People's Auxiliary at New Life Apostolic Church, East Moline, Illinois. And welcome to my first ever podcast of Maine's Desk as I talk about certain scriptures, do some devotionals and summaries for you guys, and how you can apply these scriptures into your life. So today's topic I want to talk about is fear and faith in God. Because right now we're in a state where we have people not only in America, but all over the world has this fear right now of the COVID-19 virus, this pandemic that has happened for at least a month or two. And it all started, of course, in China, Wuhan, China, where uh, this big, big pandemic started was in China and now it's been spread throughout the world and you have a lot of people right now who are very fearful right now because of this pandemic and I want to go through some scriptures that talk about why we need to have faith in God and why we shouldn't have fear because fear is actually being put in our hearts by the adversary the adversary would like us to fear more than have faith in God so I have an Old Testament and New Testament scripture I like to go through. And the first scripture I like to go through is in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 6, which reads, Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that don't go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. And that is in the King James Version, of course. And then the second one, New Testament scripture coming from 2 Timothy verse 7, chapter 1, verse 7. So 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 says, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So I want to summarize these scriptures now. First of all, um, I want to go into Deuteronomy. So saying, be strong and of a good courage, fear not, nor be afraid of them. I believe this is actually saying we should be strong, have courage, don't fear what the adversary throws at us. And as like I said, the adversary likes to have people fear. And one good example I could say is the media. And I have big issues with the mainstream media, especially because they like to put fear tactics into people. And this is why you got people running around the grocery store buying up all the toilet paper, buying up all the hand sanitizer, buying up everything, hoarding everything. And then those who are unfortunate to go to the store buy anything, they can't get anything because everybody's running around panic buying. And that I see as an example of fear that the adversary has put into them because the Mia loves the fear monger. They love to put out negative news to make you fear and from the past few weeks all it is has been a bunch of how many people died how many people had cases how many people uh, got this and got that it's like every single time someone gets something it's always being reported instead of reporting how many people recovered how many people been treated how many people been uh discharged from the hospital they always like to put out these big numbers of how many people are dying how many people are getting sick and everything and it's putting some negativity into people's minds and making them think it's the end of the world but when you have faith in god so in the part of the scripture saying for the lord thy god he it is that doth go with thee he will not fail thee nor forsake thee i believe that the lord can stand by you, be by your side, and help you through the times of trouble. And while you're fearing, he can comfort you. And he say, no fear, have faith in me. I will make things better. I will protect you. I will uh, be with you, your family. Having faith in God gets rid of a lot of that fear. And so as I go into 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, for God hath not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So he doesn't give us that spirit of fear. The adversary puts that fear in us. 
God has given us the uh, ability to love and to have a right mindset. When you have faith in God, you are fearless because you feel that God is with you all the time. And that's how we should feel. We should feel that God is with us all the time. And especially, you know, people who are saved would not fear what the adversary, you know, the adversary is not going to put that fear in our hearts when we're saved. Because we feel that God is going to protect us at all times from that adversary. The adversary will like to play tricks on you. The adversary will like to make you feel you, you, you don't you don't have any hope. And when you feel that way, you feel like, oh, there's no hope. And now you feel like, oh, God's not going to do anything because there's no hope. And they, you know, God don't want us to feel that way. God wants to feel that there is hope that we can make it through. And when you have the Holy Ghost and I have felt different ever since I had the Holy Ghost, I feel different. I am fearless. You know, I go to the hospital, work at the hospital full time. And then I go into the hospital. I have no fear because I feel that God is with me. Now, if I had fear, I'd be feeling like, oh, I don't want to go to work because this coronavirus. I don't want to go to work. I fear that I'm going to get the coronavirus. But when I go into work, I have this feeling that God's going to protect me from whatever is, you know, at the workplace. So I don't have any fear because I feel that God will protect me. Now, of course, I'm going to follow all the protocols and the precautions, of course. But I also feel that at the same time as I'm following these protocols, as I'm following these precautions, I feel that God is going to be there for me. And I shouldn't fear because I feel that I have, you know, I have that faith. I have that faith in God that he will protect me, that he will protect my family and everyone else that I'm around. So I don't have any fear because I have my faith in God. And this is why it's so important, especially for our young people. You need to have the gift of the Holy Ghost. I cannot stress that enough. Even for young people, young people are even dying of this, um, you know, coronavirus. I'm still hearing about people when they even their 20s through 40s who are suffering from the coronavirus. Because, you know, to me, it would lie too. Like I said, this adversary telling you, oh, it's only the elderly. Oh, it's only the immunocompromised. Yes, they are the ones who are at the highest risk. But we have young people who feel that they're invincible. And this is why I have an issue. Because you have people who feel like they're invincible. And now they got this coronavirus. And then you got people who, may, who are even dying of this. And they feel like, well, I'm young. I don't have any health problems. Well, you know, I and, 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 and you know, you got people going, still going to the beach, going to spring break. And all of a sudden they got it. You know? So don't feel like you're invincible, young people. Continue to pray. Continue to have your faith in God. You know, be obedient, follow those precautions, follow those protocols, but keep your faith, keep your faith, because when you have your faith, God will guide you and tell you, you know, how to take care of yourself, how to guide you through this tough time. The thing that we need to do is have faith and don't fear. When you fear, that means you have no faith in God. So hopefully this helps you understand why we shouldn't fear and why we should have faith in God because God can protect us. Keep praying. Pray for the ones who are putting their lives in the front line. Pray for those who, you know, working in the grocery stores, working in healthcare, working in the, uh, you, know, you know, janitorial jobs, all these jobs where they're putting themselves at risk during this pandemic. Hopefully that we keep praying, continue to pray that everything eases down. Pray for our spiritual and world leaders. Pray for all those who are dealing with loved ones right now who could be susceptible to this notorious pandemic and continue to pray for each other. Thank you for listening. Until next time, take care. God bless. Be safe.